Hi, first graders. It's time to put your nest that you built to the test. If you haven't built your nest yet, now is the time. So we are on the create stage of the engineering design process. Remember, it's ask the right questions, imagine how to solve them, plan out each and every move, create a solution to the problem, see what works, and then improve. So we are on the create a solution to the problem stage. In this stage, you are going to open your handy dandy flip book to the create page. If you don't have it, that's okay. On the create page, um, the questions that you're looking at or the things that you're doing today are follow your plan, build your design, work together. So this part you might be doing on your own. If you have a sibling or um, a parent or someone that you want to work on this nest building design with, you may, but you don't have to. You can do it on your own. Manage your time. So your um, lesson today should only take you about 30 minutes. Um, so don't go overboard unless you're just having fun and want to spend more time on it. And then finally, test your design. Okay. Then we're going to look at what worked well and what didn't work well. So you might need to make some changes when we come to the improved stage. Okay. So I've already got my nest built here. You remember the materials I've been showing you? So I've shaped them all together now and I've formed this nest, okay? So what I'm gonna first do, well, I already did that. I'm just picking it up to see if it doesn't fall apart. So far, so good. Then I've got my plastic egg I wanna add. Okay, I'm gonna stick it inside. Looks like it fits nicely. Oh, and I can still pick it up. So that means it's time to add my quarters, which are inside my little change purse here that's like an owl. Okay, so I'm going to do it one quarter at a time, and then um, that will let me know how many quarters it can hold. Okay, you can maybe estimate while you're watching this how many you think it's going to hold. Okay, here's one quarter. Uh-huh, yep. Two quarters. Yep. Three, uh-huh, <laughs> four, five, still doing pretty good. Is it coming through? So since I'm mine's able to hold so many quarters already, I'm just going to double my ratio. So if I had one five, and I added another five, how many would I have all together? 10, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna add, add five more quarters so I can have 10. Ten quarters, what do you think? Is that gonna hold it? Whoa, it still held it. Do you think I can add five more? So that would be five, 10, 15 quarters. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my egg is getting very full. Dun, 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 drum roll. Whoa, it's still held. It's starting to, the egg is definitely sinking down into the nest. Okay, should I add five more? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is, now I have four groups of five. So that's five. 10, 15, 20, 20 quarters. Whoa, oh, it's starting to break through the bottom a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do a final five. That's gonna be five, 10, 15, 20, 25 quarters.
And you can think about how much money that is too, if I had 25 quarters. All right, guys, Oof, I don't know about this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's still holding, but the egg is really sunk down in the bottom. And I think um, if I added five more quarters, I think it would, it would start to fall apart. So what worked well for me? Um, a lot of things. I think these materials that I found worked really well. So I could say my materials, and I could be really descriptive. So the pine needles, the grass, the leaf skeletons, the bark, everything combined together, um, built, made a really good solid nest. Um, I also think that I, I did a good job um, fitting, making room for the egg to fit inside. Um, let's see what didn't work well. So I'm going to think about what didn't work well, and that's going to help me with my improve stage. So we're going to go on to the improve stage now after you've tested your nest and it's asking us, how can you make your design even better? Create a plan to modify your design and draw your new design and explain. So modify, um, maybe you know what that means, maybe you don't. Basically, it just means what am I gonna change about my nest design to make it even better? And then I'm gonna draw a new design and explain what I'm doing to improve my design. So I think based on my test, my experiment that I did with my nest, how the nest, the egg is really sinking down into the bottom of the nest, but the sides of the nest are still really high. So when I'm thinking about how I'm gonna improve my design, I think what might work better is if I took some of these uh, materials here on the sides and maybe added them more to the bottom of the nest. And I'm gonna, um, in my new drawing, I'm gonna show that by um, kind of making my nest, originally I had it more as a cup shaped. So what I would explain is that I might make my nest more of like a pancake almost, or a mound, like a flamingo has that mud mound nest with just one egg on top. Um, maybe I could even make my nest wider, even wider. I could add some mud or some more materials or something like that so that I could fit even more eggs inside. So now I'm already improving my design right before your very eyes. So now look how nicely my nest with the 25 quarters. I wonder how much money that is if you figured that out. So now that net, that egg is sitting right on top of the nest. It's not sunken down anymore and oh my gosh look how sturdy that is so i think i just needed to what i would explain here is i'd draw my new design with uh more materials on the bottom and less on the sides and then what i'd write for how i would improve is to change my design from a cup shape to a mound more of a mound shape um, so that it could hold the egg, all right? And that's how I'd improve. You may have a completely different plan that you come up with and a completely different way to improve your nest. We all want to have our own very unique designs. Um, so I hope that I helped inspire you to create your own nest. And remember, there's a new topic on Flipgrid now called nest uh, building. And you're gonna be putting your uh, you, when you design your nest and you put it to the test, I want you to create your own flip grip video and share with our classmates um, how your nest test went. And then you can comment on each other's. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing those. If you haven't posted something already, um, today or tomorrow would be a great time to do that. All right, and don't forget to complete the engineering design process. Have a great day. See you later.